Okay, well now, let's get into the first thing that we wanted to talk about. Fiscal cliff, which I never want to hear again. Please. What is going on? Can we hear that term one more time? Um, I will try not to say it in Thank the next 30 seconds. How about that? But this little situation that we were in, listen, we're right on the verge of figuring out whether we're going to tumble over that, that thing, thing. That, who, whose name we did. Yes, yes, speech. yes. Um, 11 o'clock, they're getting together today to try and make this last dash effort to try and come up with some kind of deal. But listen, most Americans understand there's got to be some kind of compromise between these Republicans and Democrats, but they hate each other so much, yeah. right? It's hard for them to agree on, on anything. I'm, I'm kind of pessimistic about it right Well, now. not really, though, Speaking because... Speaking of the two sides, though, Romney and Obama lunching together, what's that about? Well, listen, first of all, you've got to understand, just because you have lunch with somebody <laughs> does doesn't mean you like them. No, it's like that dating BFFs. site that's called Just Lunch. <laughs> that doesn't right. mean anything. Don't believe me. That's why. That's if you, if you if you really want to hang out with someone, do it at night would be would be my advice. You know, listen. Americans clearly crave our political leaders from different parties getting along, and these guys understand that. But I got to tell you, I think it's mostly show. I don't think they're going to be hanging out. I don't think they're going to be having beers. Or what do they talk about? You know, I think mostly they avoid the tough stuff. They're not saying, I can't believe you said that in the debate. <laughs> no, I, you, know, well, you know, I think they're talking about their families and what yeah. they did for the hot, right. boring stuff. Really right. Right. Yeah. 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 Sure. We would just be manipulated. What about this Elmo scandal? Oh, this, uh, this Kevin guy, right? Yeah. The voice behind yeah. Yeah, Kevin yeah, yeah, Clash. Yeah, is nothing sacred anymore? Well, nobody's saying, tickle me, Kevin. I'll say oh, great. Oh, okay. that was oh, yeah. <laughs> this is you so know, bad. it's icky. I mean, I you know, we would rather separate our cartoon and puppet voices yeah. from, you know, the private stuff that that adults sometimes do yeah. in their lives. And it's just when you have those things collide, I think it's listen, how do you explain it to the kids? Elmo, this lovable character, this guy now with, with a number of different allegations from, from young guys saying that they had these inappropriate relationships. I, I just, you know what, I, I kind of want that one to go away. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's right? a lot more yes. going on there than what yeah. adults do in their yeah. lives, so yeah. let's just move on. Can we, well, okay, I mean, what about her obsession with Kate Middleton? Well, you were talking about pregnancies and tough pregnancies, right? I mean, she's, boy, she's having a, 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 a tough a tough ride. Mm -hmm. Clearly, I think in America, right, we're more than 200 years away from having our own royalty. And we keep saying, well, you know, the Kennedys are kind of royal, or, you know, the Bushes may... It ain't nothing on no. the Brits, right? Yeah, I they mean, don't compare. And, and she's she's cool. Yeah. I mean, don't yeah. you like her? She's classy. Well, and the novelty with like... their pregnancy is they're married, unlike most of the pregnancies <laughs> in, in our country. Burn, <laughs> burn. But, but seriously, you know, since Diana, clearly there's been a craving on both sides of yeah. the Atlantic for a royal that we can relate to. Right, Elizabeth is a lovely lady, but she's a lot different yeah. from, from yeah. most of we us. We want Grace Kelly. We want somebody right. out of central yeah. casting. And, one, and maybe someone with some American roots yeah. in there, huh? Yeah. That'd be yeah. nice. Well, no, quickly, I was at the uh, 12, 12, 12 concert, Did and you really? I was stunned. What did you at, pay? Oh, I didn't pay. I covered it. <laughs> I covered it. Now, there were so many old guys there. What was up with, like, why couldn't they inject some youth into that lineup? Right, we had Clapton, The Stones, The Who, right? Average age, like, aluminum walker. The, yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, you would hope that some of these younger rockers would, would, would have some sort of social conscience to show up for mm -hmm. something like this. And, and I guess some of them do. But, you know, you got to figure that the audience that would be willing to pay, what were some of those seats? Oh Two, three thousand bucks, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, min that's the least that they were. So yeah. you, you basically have to be in your 50s or 60s or 90s to be able to afford the ticket. So yeah. maybe they were... You know, maybe they will play into the demo. Some of those rap guys, they have a lot of fans, but but maybe they're not going to pay off the dough. Right, right, right. You know, yeah. I, I couldn't afford it. Me either. No, right. no, that's you why know? I had to that's hop on point. with the yeah. camera guy. You know, yeah. That's, the, that's the demo, right? Keep wondering yeah. anymore. Yes, yeah, that's yeah. the demo. But, but, I mean, it is true. It makes us all feel young, doesn't it? Yeah. I Thanks mean, for making me feel like an old rocker, Alice. I appreciate that. Compare yourself to Jagger. You're doing okay.